Well, Guru Executive Director Mike Duenas says the agency has put more stringent measures in place in light of a federal investigation and subsequent indictment against their former attorney, Mark Smith, who was apparently serving as legal counsel while a Section 8 landlord. Duenas says they've changed their SOP to ensure each and every employee, board member or officer is thoroughly vetted. Since the uh, investigation has started, we've, we have been, uh, uh, we've had a, a heightened sense of the importance and urgency of ensuring that uh, uh, conflict of interest issues um, are disclosed up front and resolved um, quickly. Former Gura legal counsel attorney Mark Smith had been under investigation for over a year, accused of conspiring with a close friend to defraud the federal government out of Section 8 program funds while he served as Gura's legal counsel. An indictment handed down last week lists 56 counts of charges ranging from conspiracy to commit wire fraud, theft of government property, money laundering, and false statements on a loan, among other charges. The underlying issue in the case is Smith's alleged failure to disclose a conflict of interest. Under U.S. Housing and Urban Development regulations, he was not allowed to simultaneously serve as legal counsel while also receiving Section 8 funds as a landlord. But then Smith and his friend Glenn Wong found themselves in an even deeper hole after federal authorities say they tried to cover up their fraudulent activity after the conflict of interest had been discovered. The indictment states that Smith transferred ownership of his Section 8 properties to Wong, but the funds Wong received were then funneled back to Smith by way of various payments made by Wong to Smith's loans, credit cards, and other bills over the span of two years worth over $160,000. The indictment states that the two then attempted to amend their tax returns to reflect rental income. And even after Wong purportedly sold one of the properties, Wong allegedly wrote a check days later to Smith for the exact same amount he sold the property for, $687,098. Meantime, Gura Executive Director Mike Duena says the investigation into Smith's case began about 20 months ago, and since then, they have fully cooperated with the FBI. As the organization that's uh, ministering the Section 8 program here in Guam uh, is to cooperate with the, uh, the HUD Office of Inspector General in terms of the avalanche of subpoenas that we've received over the last 20 months, we have made a uh, we have been providing all the information that, has, that was subpoenaed. And since the investigation, Duenas says the agency has implemented more stringent measures for all employees, officers, and board members. We have also been uh, uh, looking at um, uh, our policies and procedures and standard operating procedures in terms of making sure the word is clearly uh, out about conflict of interest. When an individual is nominated for uh, to serve on the board, we do uh, vet the, their names and the names of their immediate family members. Okay. In one instance, we yet to vet like 20 names. Oh, wow. <laughs> Large families.